Today we're going to be doing the catalase test and what it is is if an organism is catalase positive it can break down hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. So a catalase positive reaction is going to cause bubbles whereas a catalase negative reaction is not going to have any bubbles at all. So what I did was I labeled the organisms out of the first grouping of organisms we use in class uh, which are positive and those that are negative in regard to gram positive cocci. So we have the Staphylococcus and the Micrococcus that should be positive and the Enterococcus and the Streptococcus which should be catalase negative. Now if you look at the gram scheme of things most everything is catalase positive except for strep and Enterococcus um, but in the first grouping, uh, we have the gram-positive cocci, gram-negative cocci, and gram-negative cocobacilli. So that would be staphylococcus, micrococcus, enterococcus, and streptococcus are all gram-positive cocci. Then we have Neisseria, which is gram-negative cocci, and um, Moroxella quadrales, which is the only gram-negative cocci in Moroxella and Haemophilus, which is gram-negative cocobacilli. So I put an organism on each that should be positive, one that should be positive on here. So I put Staphylococcus aureus on here, and I put Streptococcus agalactiae on this one. So I'm going to add my hydrogen peroxide and look for bubbles. Okay, so as expected, the Streptococcus does not show any bubbles. On the video it looks really white, but there aren't any bubbles. Whereas on the Staphylococcus aureus, look at all those bubbles. Okay, so this is a positive test here for Staph, and this is a negative test here for Strep.